bus with this unknown male pulled a knife and threatened to slash the complainant. Police in Vancouver say calls like this are constant. People should be able to walk around their city at any time of day with their headphones on, go for a run, walk alone at night without being uh, concerned that somebody's going to come out of the dark and, and attack them for no apparent reason. Sergeant Steve Addison is pointing to places where people have been attacked by strangers. I'm just going to take you to the Tim Hortons here where we had In a, January, a 25-year-old man was stabbed here. From out of nowhere, blitzed from behind. Uh, stabbed multiple times uh, in the upper body by a suspect who didn't know, had no prior interaction with. The suspect was arrested and charged. The victim will recover. Police have released videos of several incidents that police say show other random attacks. This woman was pushed in the middle of the day. This happened at a busy SkyTrain station. Vancouver police estimate there are on average four attacks by strangers every day based on a review of assault data from September 2020 to August 2021. It's the first time that analysis has been done, so there's no direct comparison to previous years. A common thread in a lot of these cases is mental illness, sadly. This psychiatrist treats mentally ill people accused of crimes. He says many of them haven't had access to treatment, in part because of the pandemic, and many use street drugs, including amphetamines, that intensify their symptoms. They're now getting amped up and agitated, and that has increased significantly. People who work with the most vulnerable worry the police are exaggerating the danger. So the problem has gotten worse uh, but the police response is not going to be the answer out of it. On that, police seem to agree. Uh, yeah, we got to get a grip on it. It's not just a policing issue. Uh, it's a complex issue that's going to require work to work by multiple levels of government, multiple partners to address. And solutions won't be simple. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.